right, so we're checking out the only game that would sponsor me to blow up an island full of innocent people. It's Anno 1800. More human fireworks, damn it. The folks over Anno 1800 sponsored the video and said that I could do whatever I want. The sandbox says explore the world of Anno 1800 freely, except instead of explore, put burning, and instead of freely, put a lot. I appreciate that in the portraits, there's all these people that look like they're fresh out of Harry Potter, and then there's one prisoner. You always know your colony is gonna be the best when your mayor is still in his chain gang uniform. I've decided our name is Paul Felony. Three, city incidents, all of them. Anno 1800 is a game where you can build beautiful cities and make your populace happy. We're not doing that. Every settlement needs a market. Interrupt me again and I'm setting your whole family on fire. So what we're gonna do today is, from what I understand, dynamite factories are very, very volatile. And so I want to build a crap ton of them and then allow them to all explode and set the entire island on fire and kill everyone. I'm going to manipulate the game a little bit to make this slightly easier for us, because I have the feeling that you're probably not supposed to have an entire island filled with dynamite. But Anno 1800 said do what you want, <laughs> so here we go. I also want to mention if you want to ruin this man's life yourself personally, Anno 1800 is going to be on sale for up to 40% off. Actually, you'll even get to play it for free. Check out the links below so you can kill as many people as you possibly can before the free time is over and then decide if you want it to keep. This entire city is just gonna look awful, so I've decided that we're going to spell something out using it. Oh yeah, that's hot. Beneath the town of Yeet, the common man works hard in order to begin moving toward gunpowder so that we can eventually kill everyone. It's like the perfect representation of a capitalist society. Everyone's working toward their own demise. The fire station is like the one building that's never going to get built because I don't want anything that can possibly assist the people from their immediate death. Congratulations, everyone in the E gets to be better human beings. Hmm, how do those houses look? Flammable. I just realized this is a terrible name for a town. Kill me. Hashtag ad. <laughs> That's right, everyone, I'm upgrading your roads to paved roads, only the best for kill me. I need more people. I need to build another slum. My favorite part about this town right now is how legit everything looks. Until you zoom out, people are gonna be like, oh yeah, what part of the city do you live in? And they're gonna be like, oh, I live in hell. <laughs> uh oh. Oh man, this is gonna get out of hand really bad. There's like nothing here to save these people either. I mean, I guess it should be all right because this E in hell is kind of segregated from the rest of the populace. I like how most of the people are just like going about their business. They're just like, man, these chickens are running rampant these days. This dude's running away at like one mile an hour. You got Bambi over here, whatever the hell it is, like running into the blazing fire. Probably trying to save an infant or something. It's like the lassie of deer. Fire and kill me hashtag ad is out of control. <laughs> I think I need like a thousand artisans or something. It's just very unfortunate. It's basically like souls. You have to offer up a certain amount of souls in order to unlock the real good stuff. Gazebos, hell yes. There's like a limit to, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> there we go. There's nothing like having a romantic dinner with your wife right next to someone that's having a romantic dinner with their wife surrounded by everyone having romantic dinners with their wives. <laughs> Some people would say that this looks beautiful. I would say that this looks flammable. <laughs> All right, we got engineers. It's about to get sciency up in this bitch. Welcome everyone to the capital. Kill me hashtag ad. Mmm. Dynamite, you say? Normally, I guess we'd have to make our own saltpeter, but honestly, we've got stacks on deck. We'll just buy it. No one knows it yet, but these pigs are going to bring about the destruction of the entire city. I feel kind of bad. So in a sickening twist of fate, I had to create another colony over here specifically for saltpeter. These people's entire existence is only here to kill the people on the other island. That's it. They don't even have a real lifestyle. Their whole purpose is just to make me powder so that I can create dynamite to kill everyone on the other island. I feel like hell needs some dynamite places too. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to put it right next to the area that's already on fire. A fire broke out. Explosion in the dynamite factory. Hell yes. Oh yeah. Come on, baby. Oh, it's set the, starting to set the big houses on fire, too. This game has a postcard view. This is what it was meant for. That lady just 
that lady just disappeared. I thought she was gonna leave the kid in the wheelchair just sitting in the middle of the street. On a side note, uh, the butcher is the thing that's currently on fire. So, I mean, all the meat is going to be cooked. This is efficiency. See, people think I'm just destroying lives for no reason, but honestly, I'm doing it for the health of the entirety of my populace. A fire broke out. Secondary explosion, we caught it right here. <laughs> Man, they were kidding when they said dynamite was highly explosive. I need more of these. I'm gonna need so many engineers. Uh, yeah, we'll put it at like the bottom of the L over here. Honestly, you know what? I think we'll just underline hell. People are gonna be like, what does our boss need all this dynamite for? A YouTube video. <laughs> Another explosion, Christ. Let's keep it rolling. It's very interesting that the uh, T in yeet was the one that blew up the soonest. I'm all about safety. Modify production, all of it. A fire broke out. Where? I can't even tell anymore. These damn things are blowing up so quickly. You can see everyone has their cell phones out. They're watching the uh, the insanity over here. People be riding around on their haughty ass bicycles. Little juvenile has a balloon while he watches people burning alive. Random body falls out of a window. People are like, he needs some milk. Uh, yeah, Memorial Gardens look pretty flammable. Look at the crowd just following the, <laughs> the flames. People are just like getting pushed around. The bodies are just slowly levitating across the ground. The beer and ice guy's coming over here. It's like being at a hockey match or something like that. He's selling refreshments so everyone can watch their neighbors burn to death. Oh, there was a fire in Satanville. I missed it. There's like so many people that are sick now because I've just packed everyone together. But don't worry, we'll clear this up once everything gets caught on fire from all the dynamite. We're making so much money from selling all the dynamite. We got these uh, beautiful statues over here. Everyone's projectile vomiting all over them. People are starting to use umbrellas to try and keep them from the rain of vomit. Man, it's taking a hell of a time. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh my god, half of the city's on fire from that one explosion! Yeah, see, you always want the dynamite factory to be filled with as many buildings around it as possible. Ah, uh, nothing like a paint job of blood upon your buildings. I really need to get one of these ones blown up so we can clear out all this illness. Man, it took them long enough. I've been waiting to clean up this area forever. This lady just brought her, like, infant and child right next to the fire and the disease. She's like, look what you have to look forward to, son. This lady over here, at least, is like, Jesus Christ, run while you can. Okay, it did jump. So now this dynamite factory got caught on fire. Hopefully it'll catch all these houses on fire. I'd like to get the entirety of our hell to be aflame. Beautiful. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. I really appreciate it when a game gives you the opportunity to set the exact time of day or have the dynamic night cycle. Because first off, everything looks awesome at night, but more so than that, the flames of a sad, broken people look fantastic at night. No joke, nighttime really brings out the absolute putricity of the plague that's been affecting the entire city too. All my all my updates now in the game are is a fire broke out just over and over and over again. Our thing over here is now foul capital because of all the death and burning buildings. So this is what hell looks like now. Some buildings have burned to the ground, but other buildings are just a completely dilapidated slum. The bodies and rotting corpses of the damned litter the ruins of what was once a beautiful city. Man, this slum is really coming together because now not only do you have destroyed buildings, but also a gigantic Big riot. This is the only time when you're gonna see a riot across the street from a riot, across the street from a riot. This stat system is amazing. You can actually see in real time just how quickly people are dying. If you check your storage area, you know it's a good city when the only thing that's currently trending is dynamite. I think like a hundred people just died because right where the where the riot was, a giant fire just erupted and killed everyone. <laughs> As I sit here and I watch the populace riot and burn down the entire city and kill everything in their path, I realize how much easier this would have been if I would have used the co-op mode. 
because then I could have had someone else help me try and burn this city to the ground. Working together is never better when it involves the complete destruction of an entire civilization. <laughs> That's awesome. The riot is now out of control. Look at this city. It's just a bunch of flames in the background and riots everywhere. <laughs> Burn, baby. Chaos is my mistress. Go forth. There's more explosions as all the dynamite factories continue to blow up. It's now a revolting capital. I'm surprised there's anything left to blow up. This is just freaking awful. I just realized that I had another settlement down here, but like an appropriate jackass, I had totally forgotten about it. I just got an update that Illness killed a bunch of people in kill me hashtag ad and this guy wants me to head over to the new world which is something that you can do. It looks a lot like Florida which is where I live but I don't think that they're gonna want me to go there because all I'm bringing is smallpox and hatred. <laughs> Life spans 40% off. The town elders are gonna be like 31 years old. Hey how y'all doing down there? Still on strike? Got your pitchforks ready? This one guy's just trying to get into his broken down house and everyone's just trampling his ass. Are they throwing Molotovs into the pub? I just saw him throwing Molotov cocktails into the pub and now the pub's on fire. <laughs> oh, yes. It's total chaos and it's glorious. So you could manage your city the normal way, but honestly, that's boring. It's just better to watch the rebellious populace go through and toss all of their flaming bottles <laughs> onto the different structures. Look at it. <laughs> Look at how many there are. And there's only two different mobs too. It'd be great if they start fighting if they're like, this is our building to destroy. No, we saw it first. This horse and carriage is gonna get by no matter what. It's just running through the populace. Look at them all go flying. They decided my potato farm sucks. So they're like down with you schnapps factory. All these potato farmers are still working like nothing's going on. They're like, look, we get paid by the hour. All right, so what happens when two gigantic crowds just intercept one another? Like, are they gonna, are they gonna push past one another? Are they going like an amoeba? Are they going to congeal into one giant crowd. The strike people are having such a tough time trying to get through all these buildings here. They're like, God damn it, it's very difficult to blow up buildings when they're so close together. What dumbass built this town? In the beginning, I believed that the dynamite factories would cause the most fires, but honestly, just unchecked riots are so much better. You can see that. This thing's already on fire. Why do you have to make it more on fire? You bastards. I was hoping it would be like Braveheart when the two groups of people smash into one another, like if bodies go flying over one another, but they just kind of like calmly move through each other. Well, kill me hashtag ad is now a hideous capital. Satanville, which we haven't checked out in forever, is mostly destroyed as well. <laughs> and lifespans 40% is a fair settlement and everyone's having a good time. I really appreciate how much detail goes into the destruction part of the game. You know a game development and studio cares when they put just this much effort into the beating and the fire and the protests as they do into the building stuff up portion. Ah, the nighttime really brings out the beauty of everyone's Molotov cocktails as they get slung onto the buildings. Oh, this just in. Hold on. I've just been told. We just went up to 55% off Anno 1800 and lifespans as well. Well, if you want to cause ultimate chaos like this, you can for free. Remember, they're having their free week for you guys to play so you can check that out. And if you really enjoy it, just like how lifespans are 40% off, you can get it for up to 40% off. And honestly, how can you pass this up? I'm gonna leave you with these last few Molotov cocktails. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Anime 200. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love.